don't make art. Art makes itself through us. But we have to be open. We have to let the muse in. Like the state of being where it's not just us doing it. Time passes. You don't even notice. It's like you're in a trance. And when you come out, it feels like you've been led by forces beyond yourself. Like you've just touched God. Yeah, but it doesn't happen all the time. And for some people, almost never. But that's why you make something. It's the dirty secret for why people are really artists. It's a chance to commune. That high you get from creation with the muse. Or God or whatever you want to call it. And when you come out of it, it's like, how did I do that? Couldn't have been just me. It must have been someone else. I think athletes know about it too. And mathematicians and scientists. They all know what it is to get into the zone. You know? It's just that for me. The way to that thing is through painting or sculpting. But the muse won't come if you're thinking about your critics. It's why Fred doesn't read reviews. It's why artists drink. It quiets critical voices little while. At first, but it destroys you in other ways, I guess. I don't know. I'm not an alcoholic. But I am addicted to making art with my muse. But I can only access it all the time. Or at least I can't. <laughs> but that's the flaw of criticism. See, you think the artist is creating something for you. But she's not. She's feeding the addiction. Her 
addiction. The artist is a byproduct. See, art is for the artist. 